Hello everyone, this is Dragon Actual. Today's video will showcase one of my loadouts that I tend to use when playing Iron Sight. For this match, I demonstrated my second loadout, which includes the AK-12 rifle with the quick shot red dot sight and suppressor. Throughout this match, my performance was arguably better compared to other matches where I also used the loadout you currently see on screen. You will also notice a neat trick I tend to use with the AK-12. Throughout the match, it was quite risky because many of Iron Sight's maps, such as Crews, Close Quarters, are a frequent occurrence. I was lucky to be able to pull off tap firing with the rifle. Throughout this video, you will notice it tends to come in handy in situations where the enemy player tends to take shelter in areas that provide decent cover and or good view of the map. For this map, Crews, you can always take your chances going full auto, but keep in mind because this is Iron Sight. It's a very high chance that 9 or 10 out of 10 players in the lobby will have soft point bullets equipped for their primary they are using. For those who are new to Iron Sight, soft point bullets have a bigger flinch effect when attacking enemy players, and from my experience from playing a lot of matches, those bullets are very effective. So keep in mind you may want to resort to firing semi auto or two round bursts. To get back on topic about Iron Sight's AK 12, its performance is rather very decent when it comes to recoil, similar to my experience with the SCAR-17 or SCAR-H. It's not that bad of an idea to have a suppressor equipped. After all, by default, the AK-12 takes 30 round magazines, so unlike the SCAR-H, there really is no need to waste one spot for the extended magazine attachment. Now for the question regarding optics, you can use just about anything that's available. Again, for those who are new to Iron Sight, the ADS and zoom on optics such as the ACOG are rather very tolerable. It's not like, for example, Modern Warfare 2's ACOG scope, where by default the set attachment has slower ADS speed, unless the class you are using has the Sleight of Hand Pro Blue Perk equipped. As for the optic I use for the AK-12, I tend to use the Quick Shot Red Dot sight with the small red dot reticle because it really helps in situations where not much of the enemy player is exposed. I also chose to use the quick shot red dot because having a border around the optic helps with concentrating on the enemy player I am aiming at. For those who want an alternative choice to the quick shot red dot sight, you can try the clear sight because as its name suggests, it gives you a clear view and if you don't mind, it has an ammo counter. When it comes to this match, I was very lucky that I was able to score first place and taking the MVP of the match. MVP is when your highlight is showcased at the end of the match. But unlike previous matches, because I was under the motivation that I wanted to use the AK-12 rifle for this video, I ran back quickly to pick up my AK-12 rifle because I did not want to leave such a nice rifle behind. If there was any challenge that I thought I would mess up on, it was definitely the moment where one of the players took position on one of the balconies, and I took the risk of firing semi-auto, but I was happy to come out as the one who survived the surprise 1v1 situation, especially when standing in the middle of the map, because on cruise, that area is highly contested, and often it becomes a player grinder for a majority of the match. For anyone who is new to my channel or discovered me through my first Iron Sight video, I have other content you can check out on my channel. I have playlists of my content on games such as Titanfall 2 and Battlefield 4. On Fridays, that's when I upload Project Wingman videos. It's a game that's worth its full price. Trust me. I also have a playlist of my Project Wingman content, so please check them out. When it comes to Iron Sight videos, I tend to upload every Tuesday, and later down the road, I will go further with uploading content from other games, as promised in my upload schedule commentary videos. Now enjoy the rest of the footage.
Oh, no. 